let this problem sink in a little bit. Uh, it says, a class has three fewer girls than boys. If the ratio of girls to boys is four to five, how many students are in the class? I'll say it one more time. A class has three fewer girls than boys. If the ratio of girls to boys is four to five, how many students are in the class? Now, one thing they help us out with how to solve the problem is they tell us it's a ratio. And remember, we can write a ratio, let's say between any two numbers, it says a ratio of four to five. So remember ratios come in like this, we could say four to five, or we can write it as a fraction. Now we're gonna to wanna to use the fractional form because we're gonna be solving for it. And to solve for something, that means we have to have a variable. And to have a variable in solving, we're gonna to wanna to have an equal sign. And the only thing we've learned to do with solving when using ratios is to have a proportion, meaning we're gonna have one ratio equal to another proportion. And since they're asking us to solve, one of those proportions is gonna have a variable. So the first thing we know is we have four to five. That's our ratio. And we know it says to find how many we have, right? So we're gonna have to solve for something, so we're gonna have an equal sign. Now, I need my proportion to equal something. I need to figure out what another ratio is gonna be. And let's see, the only thing they talk about is they say class has three fewer girls than boys. That's the only thing else, that's the only other information I know. Now, if I think about this, three fewer girls than boys. So that means if there's 10 boys, three fewer would mean seven girls. If there's 20 boys, three fewer would be, 20 boys, three fewer would be 17 girls. So it's all gonna depend on what are, how many boys are in our class. And again, we don't know how many boys are in our class, so the best thing we can do is use a variable for boys. So I'm gonna write over to the side, x equals boys in the class. All right? Then the girls are going to be x minus 3. Now, this is very important for you to understand. Whenever you're given a variable, to make sure you just um, tell everybody what your variable is. You've got to define your variable. And I'll show you right in this problem why that's so important. So here we have x boys in class. So I can write now, I can say x minus 3 over x. Girls to boys. So x minus 3 to girls over boys. Again, if you look at it, the ratio, girls to boys, girls to boys. Now here, I can use my cross multiplication technique. All right, I'm going to cross multiply these two factors, or these two uh, quotient here. So I get 5 times x minus 3 equals, the equal sign still stays, 4 times x. Make sure you guys please put x minus 3 in parentheses. If you just want to multiply 5 times x minus 3, so many students make the mistake of multiplying the 5 times the x and forgetting to multiply the 5 times the negative 3. You have to make sure you do that. So then I would get 5x minus 15 equals 4x. Now I'm going to get my x. I'm going to, I need to isolate my x. Since I have an x on both sides, uh, I, need to get it to the, I need to get it to one side. So I'm going to get it. I'm going to get this x by itself, so I'm going to get rid of the x over here. And so I'll subtract the 5x. I get negative 15 equals a negative x. Now to get rid of that negative 1 in front, I divide by negative 1. And I get x equals 15. Now that's where a lot of students stop and say, oh, I got it. Answer's done, right? Solve for my variable. But you always need to make sure that you check your answer, read it, and say, all right, is this what the question is asking? Well, 15 is equal to x. What is x equal? The boys in the class. Do we care about the boys in the class? Well, yes. Is that what our answer is, though? No. Our question is asking us how many students are in the class. So you can say there's going to be 15 boys, and 15 minus 3 is going to be 12 girls. Add them together, you get 27 students in the class. All right, so that's how you solve a word problem using proportions.